Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. This is the ninth episode of Discord Digest Boss Series video. Well, as we go further and further, everything is getting interesting and just make sure to watch me because literally the next videos I'm gonna teach you guys a very 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 cool commands such as lock so when you're using a lock command it's gonna lock all of your channels and very very cool features in the future so we're just gonna learn about each one of them but in today's video we're gonna be specific about something that I should mention earlier which is called embeds so this is the embed you know we all know what is embed probably embed is a thing that uh, it's just send, send an embed for you guys so let's just say you wanna gonna be something and but like this as you can see you're gonna some add some fields you can add some pictures you can set the author if you don't know how to do that it's pretty simple i'm just gonna do a very very uh compressed video and you will understand probably each one of the features that's gonna admit an embed is gonna have so yeah just make sure to watch before we start the video guys make sure to leave a like hit that subscribe button and follow me in the twitter and twitch like always on the Twitch, I most of the times stream on there, so just make sure to follow me on there and basically join to our Discord server in the description. Also, I have a documentation on GitHub, so you can guys check it out and copy the codes, you know, whatever, you know. Just make sure to watch the videos as well because it's gonna help you for future codes. So, you know, just don't copy and paste. <laughs> so, yeah, just documentation is a thing that is gonna be the second hand for you to fix your code or some stuff like this. Like, let's just say you have some problems in your code and you go to check your documentation. That's how it is. Right, without further ado, let's get into the video. We're just gonna go to the Visual Studio Code and we're just gonna make a new project for our bot. I mean, uh, a new file probably. Um, I think yeah, there we go. We're here. So basically, we last video we, we learned about the cooldown. Uh, but yeah, let's just make a file. Let's call it embed.js. And we need to get a sample sample from the high here. There we go. Don't need these probably, but make sure you actually do um cons discord uh discord a require it's gonna require a file let's just require the file uh the file is gonna be your discord address basically so that's it that's all you need to do let's just change the m to this one to embed or a command name whatever you want to call it uh example of an embed basically so let's just save this uh we have the usage just use it as an so let's see we just need to remove this one as well all we need to do right here is we're just gonna put the uh a const again because we're gonna create an embed first so we're just gonna do uh const embed equal to new discord uh dot message embed so gonna okay, no not that one message embed uh there we go yeah there we go this is the message embed so we're just gonna do this real quick and just make sure to put putting this one here because we don't need this for now because we're gonna configure our embed in downside of this code here so let's just hit enter now what we need to do is first of all uh we can set a title for our um embed so let's just do set title there we go as you can see we're just gonna set the title to this is a test okay i didn't mean to do that <laughs> this is a test embed whatever you want to call it so this means that first of all uh, before we actually test this one we're just gonna do this and we're just gonna uh, put channel uh dot sand um uh, i didn't mean to do that channel dot why is doing this let's just do something else message dot channel dot send um it's gonna send the embed so that's basically it so this means that when I use the command, it's gonna send this command here. So that's what it's gonna do. So let's just test it out and see how it's gonna work. Let's just do no dot. Uh, right now it's online. So if you do embed, there we go. This is a test embed. This is gonna be a title for embed. So this is means that we use our embed perfectly fine without any issues. Let's just get into the further information. So what we need to do is just set a URL. So let's just say you want to set the URL for our embed, which is a very perfect idea actually. So just set the URL. Let's just do set the URL, and we're gonna uh, do this URL. So you can actually put the URL inside of this. So if you want to put a URL here, let's just say I'm gonna put the URL of my Dashcraft channel. We can do HTTP. Um, let's just say YouTube.com uh, Dashcraft123, which is my channel uh, vanity URL. As you can see, so it's gonna set the URL for this. Let's see how this one is gonna look like. It's gonna be look perfect. Let's just do this. Let's just do embed again. 
there we go this is the test embed as you can see it turned our title to our url so when we click on this url it's gonna open this on youtube uh you can put any url that you want doesn't really matter as you can see it's opening my youtube channel basically that's how it's gonna work out so next thing next uh next thing thing <laughs> next thing we're gonna do is set the author of this um embed so let's just say you want to set the author for the let's just say the person who used this command so we're just gonna do set author uh you can put text as well so let's just say you want to set author me or your name or whatever you can set the author let's just say i'm gonna set the author message dot author i didn't mean to do that but message dot author that's message that mentioned the author i guess i'm not sure do this i don't think it's gonna work i don't think so because it's sometimes let's just check out I, I don't think it's gonna work yep it doesn't work we're just gonna do message dot mention dot um member but we're not gonna set the member for now i'm just gonna test the test for now let's just say do uh this is it let's just save this one here no dot as you can see the dash graph is online let's just do embed again as you can see the author of this embed is dash graph which is perfect right now we learn how we can set the author for our embed next thing is gonna be um the description for our embed so we're just gonna set the description um um Let's just do a description on the set description. There we go. We're just gonna set description. This is a test description. description. How do you type description? Oh my goodness, I'm so bad. Don't please don't judge me. I'm not an English person. All right. Um, set description. Um, uh, this is a test description, which we will see. There we go. So we're just gonna call it whatever you want to call it. There we go, no dots. We're just gonna do this embed again. And it's gonna set the description for our embed. So this is a perfectly organized embed right now. I, I, I can't believe I'm in a pro <laughs> very organized embed, but it's gonna be sometimes messy. So I'm just saying. All right, so if you wanna set the color for your embed, let's just say you wanna set the color of this area, you need to do something very important. You have to uh, go to the hex color code. And it's gonna HTML color codes. As you can see, you can pick the color. Let's just say I'm gonna pair red. I'm just gonna copy this code right over here. I'm gonna copy it. So just make sure about that. And then you need to do set color. I'm um, just gonna set color. And the color that we're gonna do in here is gonna be this and this. But before this, you actually need a hashtag. So just make sure to add that. So this is the color code and this is the hashtag before that. So just make sure if you wanna set the color for your embed. Let's just save this one here. And then we need to do no dot gonna say this we're just gonna do embed and we're gonna see that embed color is red as you can see perfect amazing if you have any questions about that as well because i'm sure you're gonna have some questions about this just comment down below or join to our discord server i will help you on there so we just set the color and now we can set the thumbnail for our thing i don't know what picture to pick actually <laughs> so i'm assuming that uh let's just put a youtube picture youtube should sponsor me um let's just let's just i don't know let's just use this i'm gonna kill myself click on the copy image address so that's it you need to do uh set uh thumbnail there we go and you need to put the url here so just you no know, touch again let's just embed there we go as you can see our picture is in here into youtube url which is perfect that's actually working fine that's uh, that's really cool so basically if you want to uh, do this as you can see if we just set um a, uh, a thumbnail for our uh, embed if you want to set an image for your embed so let's just say you want to show it and uh, at the bottom of your embed it's going to be set image so if you want to set an image you need to do set image um set image is going to be um the image url so it's just going to put the same URL as this one because i'm not going to kill our picture <laughs> we're just going to do embed again and let's see there we go the picture is on the bottom right now Perfect. So that's it. So you can set the image as well for your embed. I'm gonna use this. I oh get all right. I know it's looking bad, but whatever. So that's it. And we're just gonna um, set some footer, and it's it's gonna be so much perfect. I'm just gonna show you guys. Hold on a second. So as you can see, we have this one here. If we set the footer, it's gonna uh, do some text like right over here. If you don't see that, you should some put some text here. I'm gonna show you. So we're just gonna uh, do set the footer. So we go. I'm just gonna go to this. This is a example footer. And the thing is, um, if you do something like this and do this again, you're gonna say, this is 
the second footer at the same line. Add this one. There we go. So we're just gonna put this and then we're gonna no dot basically and then we need to do embed. Okay, I did something wrong. Perfect. <laughs> Let me just remove this because I don't think it's gonna work out because literally in uh, old node versions it was pretty much different. There we go. The footer. This is an example footer as you can see. So if you want to set the message out author ID, you can do that. You can do message uh, dot author. So oh, come on author.id so it's gonna show the method id i guess the author id i guess i think so it out nope it's not gonna show it yeah it's not gonna show it probably that's kind of sad all right doesn't matter so we set the footer for this um we can actually put an image for the footer that's what i was oh yes i that's what i had problem with so basically you can set an image for this so let's just say you want to set an image for this footer so just gonna do this one again, but in this case, you're gonna use an image. So, in this case, I'm gonna use the same image as this one, so please don't judge me. I'm just gonna set this one again. I think it should work, I guess. Yes. Check it out. Embed. Yep, there we go. As you can see, it's gonna set an image for our footer as well. Perfect. Amazing. Works totally fine. So now, as you can see, we have this footer as well. If you wanna add the field into your, um, what is it called? Into your, um, what a, I don't forgot again. You can add field and you can add fields. So it's much more easier to do add fields because it's gonna help you. I'm gonna show you in a second. So if you do this one here and then hit enter inside of them, it's gonna do something like this. So basically what we're gonna do put here is gonna, we're just gonna do one thing like this. And then we need to set the name for that um, uh, field. So we're just gonna set the name um, uh, test number one and uh the value um which is gonna be the answer or the title uh, this one is actually the title so title for the field so we're just gonna put uh something like this this is the uh oh i forgot something i'm so sorry we need to do a value there we go and then we need to put text here so i'm just gonna put um uh, this is the example value perfect um, so if you save this right now and then run the bot, you'll understand what's going on. So we're just going to do this embed. As you can see, it's add a field into your embed, which is going to be something like this. But let's just say you want to add another field. You're just going to need to copy this one uh, and then paste it. And this is going to be something very interesting. So if I do no dot again, I'm sorry, I forgot something again. Oh my goodness. You need to put this when you want to do the second something like this. So just make sure to put at this point each time you want to do a second one. Let's just do no dot again. Hello? What is going on? Oh, I didn't save it. I didn't save it. Sorry. Sorry for the interrupt. Uh, let's just do embed again. As you can see, it's going to add a field downside of this embed. I know if you want to put it exactly in front of it, it's pretty, pretty simple. You just need to do something very interesting. You just need to put this one here. So we're just going to put a uh, any line. There we go. Uh, it's going to be true. So if you put this as a true, and put this one as a true as well. So just make sure you put them up for one and two. As you can see, it's going to be set a true for true. Uh, it's going to do something very interesting. Let's just do it again. As you can see, it's going to be in one line. And it's going to be in a one row, actually. So it's going to be in the downside of that one again. So which is a very perfect idea. I'm not going to lie. But for me right now, I'm just going to... Um, let's just copy. Let's just do something very interesting. Let's just copy this one here. Now let's just put this one because uh, when people are checking the documentation, they're just going to be like, why is it not completed yet? It's fine. I'm going to fix it in right over here. Just going to set three. And th they're going to understand that I didn't define the um, in it. Uh, I mean, in line. So yeah, that's going to be interesting. Trust me. Let's really put this one here. We're just going to remove the in. Here we go. Perfect. So this means that I'm going to put this four because it's going to be a little bit. There we go. So this means that when I go to my Discord right away and I type that word over there, it's gonna see. As you can see, these are in a, in a line, but these two are in are a separate lines. So yeah, that's how it's, the simple works. And um, I think that's it. Uh, I wonder. I found something very interesting today. It was called. Um, let me just show you. Hold on a second. It's called um, set time. 
Uh, I don't know what is this. I never actually used it before. The time tab, as you can see, then you don't need to put anything. That's the interesting part. You don't need to put anything in there. So let's just do no dot again. And we're just gonna see this. Did it do anything? Oh, yes, sir. So basically, as you all know, we set a footer in here. So what is this going to do is is gonna add the time in the footer. Which is awesome, like literally if you want to know when this embed used, you're gonna see the time in the footer after the footer of this area. So which is perfect, I didn't know that, I'm sorry, I, I know. <laughs> so basically if you do this, it's gonna show you something like that. And yeah, that's basically an embed, that's all you need to know. Um, it's, it's not complicated at all. So basically this is so cleaner than other types of the code that you're gonna use. Thank you guys again for watching. If you have any questions and ideas, I also thank you so much that guy, he's gonna show another screen right now, for giving me this interesting idea. These two people give me an interesting idea that I should make a video about MBIS. I actually forgot about this, not gonna lie. I forgot about that I should put in a video about the MBIS. So yeah, that's how it's gonna work out, Um, I guess. So yeah, thank you guys again for watching. I will hope I will see you in the next video. Um, so peace out. Also, I'm trying my best to make videos as fast as possible. So you guys will be happier about this. And yeah, if you're new to the channel as well, just make sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and follow me on Twitter and Twitch. Go and check this out. See you guys in the next video. Peace out, everyone. Have a great day.